Tamara's poor. Um, some really good football, don't get me wrong. I've just said to the lads there at the end that whilst it's unacceptable to concede seven goals, admittedly, Chatham are a good side, but whilst it's unacceptable to concede seven goals, ironically, some of the football that we played in spells was, was very, very good, as we've seen for most of pre-season. And um, whilst you can't take the goals out of it, if you were to take the goals out and just look at the actual football contest, um, I think we're a lot better in that game than the scoreline on its own would uh, would make you think. Um, unlucky going forward, uh, good football, but but also good chances created, and you know we've hit the woodwork a couple of times. Um, and and then at the other end, unfortunately, one of them days where um, a couple of people have had poor performances by their standards, and you know we're not going to hang people out to dry. Um, but we are going to be honest with people and uh, you know those those issues will be addressed but that that summarises pre-season doesn't it that's what it's there for to get you fit to get you organised um, to take 11 individuals and make them into a good team and uh, whilst not happy about it I'd much rather it happen today than uh, than in a, a competitive fixture so yeah we just need to learn management uh, as a collective and, and individuals need to learn um, from those mistakes and, and try and make sure they don't happen in the future. But we, we could have organised seven or eight pre-season fixtures against Dog and Duck and smash them off the park every week and you know all's rosy in the garden, everybody's happy, everybody's having a good time and then you turn up for the first league games and the FA Cup games and you've got a massive culture shock. Well that's not what it's about. You know we, we, we've said from day one certainly to the captain and, and other senior players we said we, we want to challenge you, you should want to improve as a footballer, of course you want to win but you want to improve as a footballer. And sometimes in order to improve, you need to learn lessons and, and you learn lessons sometimes by getting beat and you know about people's character and personality uh, and, and football ability. Um, you learn a lot more about people in defeat and it'd be very interesting to see if there is the same enthusiasm and effort for watching the video back uh, when we get beat uh, as when we win. Um, it's very easy to put pretty football and goals, as I'm sure you would do. It's very easy to put that out on the internet, but we've got to look at it warts and all. Um, and that is the sign of, of a good football team rather than a mid-table football team. And I think um, when the business does start in 10 days or whatever it is, uh, I'm quietly confident that there's a hell of a lot of positive and, and not much negative um, within this group. And uh, yeah, today was just one of them days where everything seemed to conspire against us unfortunately. Uh, well training Thursday is going to be interesting so you know full attendance expected um, as I say it certainly be a black mark against anybody that um, isn't there because there is clearly a lot to work on um, and yeah try and eliminate some of their mistakes and then Saturday we've got Kings Hill away great facility down there we've been to play them pre-season two or three times now um, yeah good setup uh, look forward to, to the challenge there and um, yeah let, let's hope that the reaction that you would expect and, and the training ground work with Alex, Joe and, um, and Ross on Thursday night pays dividends and the lads um, watch the video back and, uh, and Saturday's another day.